Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting off a vlog for a little Friday, Saturday, Sunday because I just got a new camera and I hope you can tell it is the Sony Alpha 6 100, I believe. And I just got it yesterday, so I was so excited to try it out today. But I'm about to go for a walk because the air quality in LA is finally under 100. Also, this is the Versed sunscreen. I think I've talked about it before. I'm not sure, but I really like it. It's a mineral sunscreen. On my to-do list today, I know I need to pick up an extra battery and charger for this camera, so I need to stop by Best Buy. I've been doing their curbside pickup, like I curbside picked up this camera and a tripod. It's been great, but that is what I'm up to today. Thought I would take you guys along. Here is a quick out for the day before I head out. I'm wearing all girlfriend. This is their Paloma bra and just the regular girlfriend bike shorts. I love them, they are the best. And then I'm wearing my shoes, which are Calvin Klein Mayas. I always get questions when I wear these because I don't wear them that often, but I always wear them when I walk. And then I usually just bring a tote bag with my phone, my water, my keys, and then I just listen to my AirPods the whole time. So I'm not touching my phone and it feels so good. And I haven't been able to do this because of my asthma. So I can't wait. Just got back from my walk and I think you can probably hear the smoke in my voice. I'm not even gonna lie. It was still a bit smoky, but I just washed off my sunscreen, put some more on and uh, put on some eyebrows because I thought it would get ready. But I wanted to mention this new mascara I've been using. It's from Kosas, Kosas. It's called the Big Clean and I love the gradient on the container, but it also has a really nice curved wand and it's just doing it for me. Gonna wear my fun cow boots today just to improve my mood overall. I mean, I already saw the sun today, so it's already a way better day than it's been lately. The whole past week, I like hadn't left my apartment, didn't wear makeup, didn't vlog, and there's construction noise. So that's why I just like, it feels really good to have blue sky. I can't even put into words. some avocado toast and basically half of a cantaloupe. It was the most delicious cantaloupe I have ever cut into. It was a Tuscan cantaloupe, which are better than most cantaloupes, but yeah, wow. So now I'm gonna head over to Best Buy. The fact that I got dressed up for curbside pickup, it's a low, I don't wanna talk about it, but it feels nice to have something to do. But it is a little bit out of the way, so I think I'm going to stop by my friend's coffee shop he works at. It's my friend Caroline's boyfriend. They were in a picnic um, that was in a vlog, but he is a roaster there, and I'm gonna try out their chai latte because I'm never in that area and I would love to support, so can't wait. And I'm gonna listen to the other half of the podcast I was listening to. I've been listening to a lot of Ali Makovsky lately. She's a comedian and she's actually doing a drive-through show in LA, so I would love to go to that. You literally just like stay in your car the entire time, I'm pretty sure, which is hilarious. Uh, that setup just sounds so unnatural, but sounds like a fun thing to do. to Best Buy. It's behind me if you can see it, but I got the charger and I got the battery. So now I'm going to go get a coffee. I ordered an oat milk chai latte from Bar 9. Their oat milk is actually free and dairy milk is extra there. So we love that. And it's called Bar 9. I don't know if I had mentioned that. Bar 9, Culver City, chef's kiss. We're gonna do a nice little chai review. Just how I like it. It is super creamy. I got it with oat milk. Perfect amount, spicy and sweet. And now to taste the cookie, just look at that texture in the salt. It has a great amount of chocolate chips, as you can see, very high ratio, not too salty. 
and it has a really nice like caramelized sugar taste. Now I'm gonna go home and eat lunch since I'm eating a cookie at 12 and uh, do some work because I haven't really been on the computer all day, which has been nice, um, but I know I need things. I need to do things, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm now hanging out in my bed, gonna answer some emails, do some stuff I need to do, back end boring things, and hopefully the construction back here <laughs> is less loud than it was this morning because that's partially why I had to leave the house because it just gives me a headache almost immediately and just ruins my day. I also wanted to let you guys know that today's vlog is sponsored by Squarespace. If you haven't heard of Squarespace before, they are an all-in-one platform for creating and hosting beautiful websites, online stores, online portfolios, you name it, you can make it with Squarespace. I've been using their services for years now to host my portfolio site, which you can check out in the description box and on the screen to see how a Squarespace site functions, but they are super easy to customize. They have thousands of templates and 24 seven customer service. And I really love it because of how customizable it is. I feel like I was able to make the website look exactly how I wanted. And it's really easy to update whenever I have a new project that I want to display on my site as well. And it was so much easier than other complicated website designers. If you were interested in starting your own website, web store, portfolio, I highly recommend using Squarespace. And I also have a 10% off discount code. So if you were interested, you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain on Squarespace with the code LindsayRam, or just go to squarespace.com slash LindsayRam. It'll also be the first link in the description. Check that off my list, uh, but now I'm gonna answer some more emails and get back to you guys later. Ah, uh, checking in at my 4 p.m. sadness o'clock. Um, I tend to have better mornings. Like this morning, I was so full of energy, excited to leave the house, excited to put on my cute shoes and run around and do my things my silly little tasks. But once it's like afternoon, I just have a really hard time getting through it, getting through the day, doing anything, feeling purpose, feeling joy. But whenever I have my nails painted, it makes me feel better because I love seeing like a cute color on my nails. And whenever I'm going through it is typically when I don't have my nails painted and I haven't had my nails painted for like two or three weeks. So it's time to paint my nails. And I think the color I'm going with is Ghost Ranch by Jay Hanna. It's like this red burnt orange color. It's very, it's very unique. Her colors are super fun. I've been brainstorming about what I can make for dinner tonight with the things that I have in my fridge. And I think I might make my first curry of the season it's starting to cool down a little bit. It was 80 degrees, 88 degrees today, uh, which is still pretty hot for, for most people. I've decided I'm gonna make this sweet potato, chickpea, and spinach coconut curry from the Oh She Glows Everyday book. This is one of my favorite cookbooks. People ask me all the time, like, do I use cookbooks or like what vegan cookbooks I recommend? And I really love both of the Oh She Glows cookbooks by Angela Ladon. I can link it below if you're interested. It's kind of hot in here, so I think I'm gonna turn the air conditioning on really loud and listen to some music. You guys can listen to some royalty-free music and uh, cook this up, but I'm really looking forward to eating something nice and warm and comforting because cooking and eating things that make me feel really good have been at the highest priority for me, um, even if I'm not like being productive per se, just cooking and eating good food to me. I'm like, that's productive. You did a good job. Baby steps, you know? Also, my nails look fantastic, not to toot my own horn, but this color is everything.
Good morning. There was an earthquake last night. Um, it was at about 12.30. So I had just been asleep for maybe an hour and then I was just shook awake. Um, and Maddie and I both hate earthquakes. So we congregated on the couch for about an hour until it felt safe to go to sleep again. Oh, it's just the worst waking up to an earthquake because you're just like, is this it? Am I gonna die? Is this the big one? Every single time. I feel like everyone's thinking this, but I'm just like, why, why do I live in California? Why do I live in LA? I'm just thinking about moving, even though I don't usually like, people ask me all the time, do I regret living in LA? Like, is it, do I want to live here long term? All that kind of stuff. I just grew up right outside of LA. So it was like the largest city I live near. Everyone I know moves there. It just seemed like the natural thing to do is move to LA. And I genuinely love it aside from the fires and earthquakes, but they're just kind of getting a little intense right now. And so I'm like, why, why do I live here? Um, I don't know is your answer. Um, dinner was super good last night. I haven't had that curry in a while and I just love it. And it was so good with the quinoa. I honestly don't really like quinoa. It just smells weird. Like it is just kind of weird, but it soaked up all the sauce and it was like, oh my gosh, it was so good. Now I'm going to go in the kitchen, make some breakfast. I've honestly been just daydreaming about making a really good breakfast burrito. So I think I might do that because I have hash brown patties and I've been wanting to make a tofu scramble. I'm, I just don't know how, honestly. So I might challenge myself to that this morning just for something to do. And then here is my awesome outfit this morning. Um, sweats on sweats. But I do really love this kind of latte colored uh, sweatshirt. It's from A Sister and they sent it to me and it's very cozy. I've been wearing it a lot, so. Tofu scramble is underway. I used a recipe from Pinterest, but I didn't have onion, tomatoes, kale, uh, garlic. But I honestly think that with the hash brown, the salsa, the vile life, the avocado, it's gonna work, but I'll leave the actual tofu scramble recipe <laughs> below. Maddie is making cinnamon rolls this morning and check out that rolling pin. <laughs> I don't even drink vodka though. Like this is for only kitchen purposes. What's gonna kill us though? The earthquake the what is it the energy lines and everything yeah well <laughs> i like to think that the whole time. literally making a breakfast burrito and talking about earthquakes in our impending doom we need to just not like i can't that looks gorge look how beautiful that is she just posted her recipe video <laughs> on this check it out thanks for the promo <laughs> these are not even going to me, they are going to a friend. Book Maddie for your <laughs> catering. True. That breakfast burrito is better than some vegan breakfast burritos I have paid for before. I'm never buying them ever again. That was so easy, so good. It used like three different pans, but it was worth it. And now I am so excited to drink my seasonal kombucha. It's the GT's Living in Gratitude, and it is apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. And it just kind of tastes like a spicy apple pie. It's very good. If you like chai and things like that, you'll definitely like it. It is 11 now, and I'm now going to do a little Pilates class. I just took a shower, I'm back. Workout was a little difficult. I haven't worked out in a while, so it just felt a little harder than normal, um, even though it's a very low impact workout, but I'm glad I did it. Just been hanging out since watching YouTube videos. I've already spent two hours on my phone today, so I need to cut myself off for the day. It's the weekend. I don't need to spend time on my phone. It just stresses me out and makes me feel worse. But I also wanted to show you guys some fun things I got in the mail because they are just such like cool girl 
things and I just am very flattered that they were interested in working with me. So the first thing is a set from Necessaire. This is their body exfoliator, body wash, and body lotion. Fantastic packaging, I must say, as a graphic designer. I've heard such good things about this brand, just that everything is like really high quality, and I already know that they are cruelty-free and vegan, which is the best. They sent me the exfoliator in sandalwood, which is a scent that I really, really love. The body wash, which is also in sandalwood. And then the lotion they sent is fragrance-free, which is is great because I have very sensitive skin. I get hives like all the time. Um, and I also just shave my legs. So I'm definitely gonna try this out first. Thank you so much, Necessaire. And if you guys are interested in checking these out, I believe I will have a discount code in the description by now. So look there for that. Um, I know a lot of people were interested in trying out this brand when I was talking to you guys about um, cruelty-free body washes in a vlog not too long ago because, you know, I was on the hunt. I was sent a stone diffuser from Vitruvi and I am so excited to have this in my room and diffuse different scents. This is what it looks like. It is a very minimal design, which I really love. And I picked out the white color because I think it goes best with my room, but they also have a terracotta, a black, a pink. They also sent me two pure essential oils, bergamot and eucalyptus, as well as some essential oil blends, which are sleep and retreat. But I'm definitely going to fire this up tonight because I've heard that eucalyptus is great for coping with the smoke in the air, the toxic air. So gonna try that out. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Vitruvi. Now now I need to go to the grocery store, which is what I do in every vlog. Um, it's true. Kind of running low on random vegetables and coconut oil and vegetable broth and important stuff to have. I am wearing this dress from UNIF, sweater also UNIF, but I got the dress on Depop recently actually. And then my bag, which is from Rag and Bone that I always wear and my Doc Martin Bex Oxfords with some little black ruffly socks. And there you have it. I got a black Caseify mask and that is it for the fit. Ponytails in. We are now gonna go for a walk. <laughs> He's showing his off. Um, got basically the same outfit on as when I did Pilates because it's still pretty hot. Um, we ended up eating curry last night, so I didn't cook anything exciting, but happy Sunday! Maddie just got back from the farmer's market. Look at these celery. Like, it's, it's literally, literally a flowering plant. Like this, this is what I mean when I'm like, you know, I want a man to buy me flowers. This is what I want. <laughs> That's what you're gonna get married with. Literally so Oh my god, wait, that would be kind of cute. Loki. <laughs> Broccoli. Like, like to have like a food bouquet. Yeah. She also just made these beautiful bouquets. We have a nice cute. little pink moment. And then a big one. It's like so. <laughs> Alright. We are going to the Melrose Trading Post. My camera is too big to bring with me, but I will <laughs> document cute stuff we find. We're hoping to find overalls. I need to improve my collection. <laughs> We're both really sweaty, <laughs> but we got some great things. I'm not gonna lie. So here's a mini thrift haul. It's my I've, it's my Sunday outfit, and I needed a fall pair. So long, so long ones. These are guess vintage overalls. I hope they fit. I think they will. I think they I will. Think about it. And they're very cute. They're the perfect wash. They have like little and that cute guest logo. We love it. We love it. And of Success. course, kangaroo pocket. Yeah, kangaroo pocket. I, the first thing I found was this shirt. 
that I just really liked the type on it. You guys know, font ho. <laughs> so that's really what drew me to it. And it's really soft because vintage. Oh, they have amazing like, pockets. Yeah, they've got thick pockets. There's just little sweat shorts. They have pockets and they have a butt pocket too. Cute. I really am, I'm into the phones. whole sweat short vibe. And then I found actually at the same place, I, I took her business card because I wanted yeah. to make sure. This is her. Her shop is I Am Muse and she had like the cutest little truck like a little bus it was probably it's, it's like, probably like the the one of the best shops yeah it's painted and it's always there and i got these perfect long shorts yeah that they are fit so nice Lee, and they have a little yeah they fit really nice and they're like long easy going so the the only kind of shorts it. that matter are long shorts yeah i can't wear any other shorts this is herringbone yeah 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 some trousers. herringbone trousers I need more pant options because I always feel like I'm either wearing jeans or like, I, I don't know what else. <laughs> Sweatpants? I love a good so I, fitting I don't trouser. really have trousers, so I'm excited about these. They might, I'm, I'm, I feel like they might be a little oversized, but that's okay. I was hyping her up. I They're was like, you cute. need them. They will be so great. And I was saying, I don't know like what my style is anymore. Like I want to be eight different people. <laughs> Does anyone so, know? I feel like I can wear these for multiple of my my style aesthetics. So there you have it. Oh, and I got a plant. Classic. She got a big plant. <laughs> Not just a plant, a big plant. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for me to, to say no to a good plant. It's a pothos, you know, and she would just, it was calling my name. It was so lush. And it was very affordable. And it was 20 bucks. I would consider it a very successful time. We weren't there for very long, and I feel like people in general kept their distance. It was outside, so we could like control ourselves. And um, now it's lunchtime. I'm starving. So I'm gonna make some little spring roll, veggie roll type things and some peanut sauce. Okay, so it is 6.50 p.m. and I don't know how that happened. I've kind of just been hanging around all afternoon. I also have my pink lights on in my room, which are really just elevating the vibes. I want to set up my diffuser this evening while I journal and meditate and just get into the zone. I think it's gonna be so lovely, but first I'm gonna make some dinner, but I'm making a really easy dinner of Kite Hill tortellini which are such a treat because they're kind of expensive and i have half a jar of rao's arabiata which is such good jarred pasta sauce highly recommend that's it for my sunday evening thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you aren't already you can also click the notification bell to be notified when i post and if you are interested in checking out squarespace i have a link in the description or you can go to squarespace.com slash for 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later with some new content. I also get my wisdom teeth out on Thursday. So pray for me, see you guys later.